Alright, so first day in Mauritius. Super excited to get started on this. One of the main reasons why we're in Mauritius is to get our open water paddy license. I've done loads of diving in the past, but I've just never got around to get my paddy. But we've got a full on three day plan to get our open water diving license. But we're in the most incredible place to get it, Mauritius. The marine life and the, just the corals are just insane. So we've got a pretty full on three days ahead. But the first step is just to do the basics inside the pool, learn all the equipment, the hand signals, and then we're gonna head into the deep end for the more exciting stuff. And yeah, let's get this three day plan done and get that certification. So we're all kitted up right now. We're heading to the pool, kind of more the introduction side of things. We're pretty excited for this. Got all the gear. I have no idea, but let's see how this goes. Okay, so that was our last pool dive. We've learned all the basics, practiced it over and over again. And now we're going to be heading into the sea to then go over what we just learned in the pool. I think it was around four years ago, G learned her open water, so she's the pro right now. So we're trying to keep up with her. But yeah, time to head in. What's up? Time to head in. Let's go. Let's go. breakdown of the underwater equipment we're going to be taking down. We're going to about 18 meters, that's the max depth we can go with an open water certification. So we're going to start with the SPL housing for the 1DX. I've always used GoPros in the past, which they're incredible, and we actually are using GoPro still. But I really wanted to test like the limits of the 1DX underwater. So Mitch actually got a good friend to lend us this SPL housing. It's technically a surf housing, but I'm tempted to go around six meters with this. And I think you'll be able to like withstand the, um, the pressure underwater. So we're going to be using a 50 mil with the 1DX underwater in the SPL and hopefully just get some more really cinematic dynamic shots underneath. And bonuses, we can shoot the 120, 1080 underwater, which is going to be incredible. So it's really well built, really solid. So hopefully it doesn't wreck the 1DX. So SPL housing, really good to use. As I said, GoPros are incredible as well. We're going to be using two GoPros this time. It's the GoPro 7, so the latest edition, and with a dome. So everyone always asks why I use a dome when underwater. It's mainly for when you're at the surface, you can get these kind of split shots with a subject on the top and then a subject below. So if it's a boat on top and you want the ripple of the wave with the subject below, the dome pushes the water away from the lens, as you can see. So definitely get yourself a GoPro dome. It just will enable you to get those split shots. All right, lastly, luckily this is actually not ours, but we're using it from the dive shop. So this is the underwater rig for the GoPro 4. We want to be basically using it mainly for the lights. There's super bright lights that we can use on the water, and it just allows the kind of vibrancy of the sea to come alive as we're shooting quite flat on the cameras, especially if it's dark and the visibility is not that great, and the lights really will bring out the colors. So definitely going to be using these. Along with the GoPro 4, the super suit can go down to around 80 meters as well. Not that we're going that deep, but Definitely get yourself a really strong suit for your GoPro so you can withstand the pressure. First sunrise in a while in Mauritius. And yep. What is it, Mitch? <laughs> cloudy. Look at this cloudy sunrise. So, yeah, it's just cloudy again. It's just not looking promising. Ah. But 
It was only a 45 minute drive, so nothing crazy. There's some quite nice low fog going on on the mountain peaks and kind of just like skimming the surface. So we've got the Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic Pro 2, but for now, let's get the drones up and see what we can get. So the sun has literally just come out of nowhere. The whole sky is kind of just lit up, but we just haven't seen sunny like what Dude. in a week. <laughs> oh no! Just killed Mr. Snail. Oh, damn it. Oh no. Okay. Why? <laughs> so my drone is landing and it's 2,900 meters away. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, the sun is out and oh, it just feels so good to get this. So good to see the sun. But yeah, I'm just gonna get the Bundy out now and just utilize this golden light. Anytime you get morning light, you just gotta make the most of it. So, Mitch, get that drone down. Let's get the 1D going. Oh, yeah. Oh, It's like a full-on tropical storm out here right now. Not good. Not good. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking, Mike, where did you get your music from for your YouTube videos? I've been asked so many times in my past vlogs, especially the Japan video. I've been using Musicbed. It's an amazing website, and I've actually teamed up with the guys there to give you all a free trial. And I want to quickly show you some of the tools and features on the website. They're incredible to find your perfect song, and it's exactly what I've been doing recently. So let's get into it. So what's awesome about Musicbed is different membership levels. It caters for anyone who wants to use it. If you're into wedding videography, a YouTube creator, a small business, even a large business. So they really do cater for everyone. So personally, I'm on the YouTube creators membership and it really does align with what I do. They have a system called Sync ID. So whenever I've downloaded a song, I just put in my YouTube channel and it automatically clears on YouTube. So I get no copyright strikes, no hassle whatsoever and it's really made editing and choosing songs stress-free. So, Sync ID, an awesome feature. And finally, the browse features on Musicbed to find that perfect song. I've spent countless of hours trying to find the perfect song for projects. Even weeks, I've just spent searching and searching through the internet. But with Musicbed, I can choose what instruments I want, if it's a piano, if it's a bass, the drums at the background, the tempo, the duration of the song. I have such a variety to choose from. And the results list is really accurate and it just makes finding songs so much easier. So as mentioned, Musicbed and I have teamed up to give you guys a free trial. Don't forget to click the link below. I'd love to know what you guys think. And comment below as well, song suggestions. I'm always looking for songs for my next vlogs and I'll be looking through the suggestions you guys are giving. But I guess sunset is about to happen and I think we're gonna get some golden light on this mountain which looks incredible from this view so let's get this sunset. 